Okay, welcome to another Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use the animation tools. We're going to use how to we're going to learn how to use a slide mate and a revolve mate, and I'm going to try and use those things together in conjunction. So we're going to go over here. We're going to create a new document. I'm going to call this one animation test. So yeah. Sketch area. Now, what we're going to need to do is going to create a couple of different objects to animate. So I'm going to create on our top view here. I'm going to do a couple of different things. So I want to get a circle that is 100 millimeters in diameter, and I'm just going to put two other circles inside that that are not in the center. So I've got them on opposite sides here. They're not in the center. If I move my, to my top view, they're not in the center here. They're off-centered. Um, I want them to be off-centered because this is going to kind of work like a cam. Okay. So that's the cam. And we need some pins for the cam to move around. So we're going to make some pins as well. We're going to make them 10 millimeters. So this circle uh, and these two circles are the same size. Now you can make them different sizes if you want. You don't have to make them 10 millimeters, but as long as they're all three of the same size, then that's okay. Let's click the tick there. Now we're going to do an extrude. I'm going to extrude these up just 10 mil. And I want to extrude this one. And notice it doesn't fill in these holes. I was able to put those in the sketch first and it, and it doesn't fill in those holes. And I'm also going to extrude this one. Okay, so now we've got a disc and a pin. All right. Now that pin I can use for multiple different things. So we've got a disc and a pin. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, uh, I'm going to create a connecting rod. We're going to try and make a piston here. So I'm going to try and create a connecting rod. So again, I'm going to sketch on the top view. Now here, I'm going to sketch a rectangle that's quite long. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to need it to be, um, but I can also go back and adjust that later. So I'm going to make it 20 mil wide, and I'm going to make it 80 mil long. Okay, and I'm also going to create. So this is going to be our connecting rod, and what the what I'm going to make here is essentially the piston. So we're going to make another rectangle. Let's make it 30. Pistons are kind of shorter than the connecting rod. And let's make it 20 mil as well, 20 mil wide. Okay, so now we can extrude both of those so that they're 3D, and I only need them to be about 5 mil thick. That's plenty. And the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to make a bit of a housing for what for this um, piston to slide on. Um, so we're going to make a sketch here. And I'm going to sketch on the top plane. And I'm pretty much just going to make like a step. And it's going to slide in the corner of the step. So make it 100 by make it 30. And then I'll extrude that 5 mil. And we'll sketch on top of the sketch. On top of this pad now, we'll sketch a little step. 100 by 5. Now, notice when sometimes when you go over a measurement again, it uh, locks it to the edges of things. To get rid of this, just click, just hit escape so you're not selecting any of these tools. Click on one of these pivot points or these locked points and just delete them. And you'll notice that if you delete one of them, they generally all go away. So if you tick there, and now we're going to just extrude that little section up about another five mil. Okay, so we've got a little step on that piece, like so. Okay, all right. Um, I believe that's all we need to do. So we're going to go into our assembly now. Now in our assembly we're going to need to bring in all those parts. So I'm just going to click Part Studio. 
but we're going to need a few extra of these pins. Probably, I think, one, two, three pins. Okay. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do, we're going to learn how to do a slide mate. So over here on the third mate for cross, we have what's called a slide mate. If you hang your little cursor over the mate, it will actually show you what it's called. So we're going to click on the slide mate. Now on the slide mate, I'm going to use this object and it's going to slide against that object. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to find the edge that I want to slide against. So I'm going to pick this bottom corner here click the middle of it there like that. I want to slide that edge against this edge in here. So let me find it. Oh, there it is there. That edge there. I don't want the face. Notice the face shows that little circle going up and down. I want to be sliding along the edge like so. Okay. So now you can see if I just get out of this slide now, if, now you can see I can slide that up and down along that piece there. Okay, we've got a slide, mate. Okay, now I see how when I slide it, it's actually moving both objects. Um, I'm going to actually lock the part, this little housing part, in place. So. We're going to find where that part is. I can't remember which part it is that I draw. I think it's part five. So we're going to go part five, and we're going to go. We're going to right-click it, and we're going to fix it into position. So now it's fixed. So now, if I drag it, it won't move. Okay, and you can tell it's fixed because it's got this little symbol next to it. Okay, let's go back out to our view. So we've got our slide mate, but now we're going to need a, a couple of different revolve mates. So I'm going to go Revolve Mate here, which I think I've shown you this one before, but just so we can show it again, it's the second one across from the mate. And it's got this little symbol, it's a cylinder with uh, a, uh, an arrow going all the way around the outside. I'm going to click on that one. I want to revolve one of these pins around this cam. Okay, now look. The, at the moment, the pin is facing the wrong way. If I click on this little arrow, it flicks it back the other direction. So that's what I want. So I've got a slide mate here. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the other end to this part. Okay. But I'm going to make sure that the part is on the very end of the stick. Okay. So let's click again. I'm in a roll mate. I'm going to revolve this piece around this piece and it's moved straight there. Now again I want this on top of it so I'm going to use that click that little arrow again and it's going to flick around like that. You know what? I want it to point this direction. Okay. So now you can see it's attached to that revolve mate. Now it's actually sort of hanging off the edge. Let me just move that out of the way. It's hanging off the edge here and I, if I want to get that further into the center of my stick. I just need to move this piece. It's not a revolve mate on the end. I'm going to make it an offset revolve. Sorry, I'm not going to do an offset revolve. No, oh, okay, it's not going to let me do that unless it's on the Z axis. Whoops. That, I, let me just do that again. Okay. Okay. I must have clicked off the image for some reason. Okay. So we're going to revolve, mate. It's not going to matter that it's half off the edge. Um, and the limits on the revolve, mate, are not going to really be a problem. Okay. So we've got one there. Now I'm going to revolve another pin on the other end. And this time I'm going to make it pointing upwards on the other end of my connecting rod. And I'm going to do a, another revolve of this pin, of this disc around that point there. And then the last pin gets slot into there like so. Okay. And again, they're all revolve mates. All those ones down here, you can see I've done one slide mate. 
and then one, two, three, four, five revolves. Okay, so that's one for this shaft, one for that shaft, another for the other end of this shaft onto the disc, and then one for this one. Okay, so now what I can do, let's see, let's see what happens. Now that I've just I've connected all these, let's see what happens when I grab this piece. Okay. So this one is sliding and they are moving, they're moving along with it, but not revolving. Uh, what happens if I grab this one? If I grab this one, I can revolve and slide at the same time. Okay. What if I grab this one here? Same thing. Okay, let's see what happens if I find this pin on my assembly list. If I scroll down and I see if I move to part two one, you can see how on the screen it's highlighting it just here. If I hang my mouse over it, it highlights it just there. If I go and I fix that in position so that I've got this pin is fixed in position and this slide housing is also fixed in position. Now what's going to happen when I move them? So let's see happens. There we go. Okay, 